Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw the solar panel platform. This is kind of what the end result will look like, along with the straws, and you might even have balsa sticks. So let me go ahead and jump back a step. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do here when I open up my file is I'm actually going to be drawing the solar panel platform away from the car. So I'm going to go ahead and just move my drawing over. I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to click once. I'm going to go ahead and move. And the first number I'm going to type in is going to be 4 space 1 over 8. That's 4 and 1 8th, comma, 3. That's 4 space 1 over 8 for the length and 3 for the width. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit P for push pull. I'm going to hover over that object. Click once, move up. And we're all going to probably get different numbers here, but for my example, I'm going to type in 5 over 8, 5 eighths. Um, I would not make it less than 5 eighths, and you'll see in a moment why. You can make it taller, but no less than 5 over 8. Let me hit enter. Okay, now we're going to use the tool we haven't used yet. It's called offset. You can either go to tools and select offset, or simply hit the F key on your keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and just find an edge, any edge. I'm going to click on it once. Go ahead and move inward, and I'm going to type in 1 over 8. So an offset is basically taking the existing shape and actually offsetting it a certain distance. So I'm going to type in 1 over 8, hit enter, and you now see I have an additional rectangle. Okay, let me go ahead and move that over. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm going to click on that inner rectangle. I'm going to move down. And if you recall, I made that 5 eighths of an inch tall. I'm actually going to come down one half of an inch, one over two, and hit enter. Now, the reason I did that, let me turn on x ray, is you will notice that I'm giving my platform a base. Okay, so it's not paper thin on the bottom. You can see that there's walls of eighth of an inch thickness. So I'm not making this paper thin because if you were using the foam tray, it was also one eighth of an inch thick. Okay? So easy way to make that. Let's go ahead and turn off x-ray. Okay, now I'm going to draw what some of you did, which was either some type of notch in the back. And we're all going to do this a little bit differently. But here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hit T for tape measure. Just bear with me here. I'm going to hover anywhere along the bottom. I'm going to click once. I'm going to come up one eighth of an inch, one over eight. Now remember, the bottom of my platform is an eighth of an inch thick, so one over eight. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hit L for line. I'm going to go ahead and find that midpoint, okay, right about here. And I'm going to kind of come up, and I'm just going to make sure I'm right on that guideline. I did not click. I just found midpoint. I just moved up. Now it says online. Now I'm going to click. Now I made kind of a V-notch. Just bear with me here once again. I'm going to move up. Click. I'm going to move over to the right. You can still see I'm in line mode. So I'm going to move over to the right. And I'm going to type in 1 over 8. Now if I move away, you'll probably say, where did that line go? So you have to kind of hover, 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 and you'll see the word endpoint appear. Click again, and you found the end of that line. Now since it's a line on top of a line, you can't see it. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing here again. I'm going to click once, and move in the opposite direction, 1 over 8. Once again, if I move away, I can't see the line, but if I just kind of move, there's the midpoint of that line, there's the endpoint. Okay, P for push pull. And sometimes you have to erase. And there it is. There's my platform. Okay, go ahead and save your work. Go ahead and watch the next video.